Hey guys! Today I filmed myself getting ready. Um, this is pretty much my go-to flawless foundation routine um, with more of a simple eye, which I rarely ever do these days. I have to do something dramatic. I'm extra, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, if you want to know how I do my everyday foolproof foundation routine, just keep watching. Bye! So I have already moisturized with um, rosehip oil. That is probably the most important thing to start with. I'm not going to preach anything about that because I know it works for me and I know what I have learned over the years may not work for somebody else. Um, but with that said, just do what you normally would do for your skin. I do preach moisturize though. There were a lot of years that I went without realizing that not more shows my skin was making my makeup look like crap. Um, I'm just going to start with my eyes first. And for the first time in a while, I'm just going to be really simple. MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I am just blending out um, where it creased. And then I'm going to go in and set it with the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, some people don't like setting their whole entire eye because I have noticed that when I want to use like shimmery colors on my eyelid, they are more pigmented when I don't set my eye, like my actual lid, when I just set the crease area and where I do the most blending. But today I don't care. I do like to go over my eyebrows too because I noticed the rosehip oil that I use doesn't work well with the waxiness in the brow pencil, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna use in the ColourPop brow pencil and a bangin' brunette. I tend to go overboard with my brows happens to the best of us. No advice there. But I'm just gonna quickly go through this. Just gonna leave them alone. All right, for the eyes, I think I'm just gonna use the Too Faced um, Semi Sweet. Chocolate bar palette. This guy looks like that on the inside. And first, I'm just gonna go in with mousse. This one right here. And just blend it all over the crease. And I know I've said it before, and I know everyone says it, but it's better to start out with a little bit of product and build it up than to go in with a packed brush full of eyeshadow. That being said, I'm the biggest hypocrite in the world because I can't help it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of truffle, that one right there, and um, place that a little bit more directly into the crease. Trying my best to not use a lot of product, but like I said, Um, another trick I learned is using a really light hand when you're actually blending it. That way it only dispenses a little bit of product on the lid. I'm going to go back in with mousse and kind of re-blend that out a little bit because I'm a mess. Now I'm going to jump in with um, a very favorite color of mine, Muted. Right there. And do my best to blend out the really, really choppy color I place. Um, I'm going to go in with peanut butter right there and put them in the crease because I don't like the way that 
these colors are blending. And with no additional product, I'm just going to go back in with the fluffier brush that I used earlier and I'll go over all of that again. I'm going to go back in with truffle. And I think one last time, try and blend that out. Lip color, I'm just gonna go with bond on. Mm -hmm. Now for the waterline. Um, this has always been my favorite. It's really pigmented, really creamy, and pretty cheap. And I'm probably gonna skip through this part because, to be honest, it's really creepy looking. See you in a second. I'm probably just gonna do my typical wing, but do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Alright, there's just a point where you put the eyeliner away and call it a day. And I've reached that point. I really need to buy this for real, but this is the Smashbox Primer Oil. And it sounds really weird to prime with an oil, but holy crap, this really does moisturize my skin well. Um, I especially like to use it underneath my eyes. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use L'Oreal's Magic Lumi um, Primer. It's very, very luminous. Very pretty. And sometimes when I want to be super extra, I will go in with Josie Marin's Argan Illuminator and mix it in with L'Oreal Lumi Primer. But I've got a little bit too much texture to do that today. And illuminating primers and things like that are just gonna emphasize that. Now first for the under eyes, I'm gonna go in with uh, Pixie's Brightening Peach. Concentrate just where you have um, darkness under your eyes. And normally if I have any huge spots that are just obnoxiously red and I know my foundation won't do a good enough job covering it, um, I will conceal first. Um, probably just going to use a few, just a few little spots. Um, lately I've been really liking Wet n Wild's Come Correct Concealer. It's like really, really cheap and it gets the job done and you need like very little product. That was probably too much. Yep, way too much. Now, disclaimer, this is my favorite, favorite foundation in the whole entire world but this color is discontinued. <sighs> it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Camouflage Foundation. It's even more full coverage than the regular Double Wear, which I am almost out of. And this is a little bit too pink for me. So I actually like to mix in Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless because this is pretty darn close to my actual skin color. Open eye. 
and blend it all out. This brush has been my go-to for a few months now. Um, it doesn't really have a name. It's a Morphe brush. It came in a kit that I got on Hot Look a long time ago. Gets a job done. Um, another one that I really like. Um, the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Looks like that. Go in. Um, I don't usually like to rub it in. I usually like to just tap it in. So it gives a little bit more coverage that way. I seriously wish I could find another foundation that was as good as this. And when my skin used to be really, really bad. This is literally what I wore every single day. Because I really didn't feel like um, spa concealing and using foundation just to even everything out. I really wanted everything to be covered with one step. Now for concealer. I don't have enough good things to say about this guy. Honestly. I'm almost running out, and I know it's like sold out everywhere. This is another one of those products that you don't really need a lot of, but it is really easy to go overboard. But if you do go overboard, it's not gonna like look like complete crap either. I normally like to kind of hang out at this point and let my foundation set a little bit before I set it with powder. I like to just give my skin a little bit of time to absorb what's sitting on top of it. First I'm going to set my under eyes with the RC Mano color powder. And honestly it's inevitable to so get creases under your eyes. Camera overheated, then I ran out of memory. Such is life. Um, so I finished setting with uh, the Arsimino color powder. Um, just under the eyes. I do like to go around my nose and my um, smile lines because they crease really easily. This is the rest of my face. Max Mineralized Skin Finish and Light. It doesn't add any um, extra coverage or anything like that, but that's kind of what I go for when I use that foundation, because the foundation is enough. And I'm just patterning everywhere. And this is my favorite, favorite powder brush, um, Real Techniques Powder Brush. Some people probably don't even need to set this foundation, especially mixed with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And next, I don't know why, but I always highlight first, just because I feel like after blending out blush, contour, and bronzer, it always fades away a little bit. So I'm going in with my end-all be-all favorite highlight ever, especially to mix in with um, darker highlights because I am so pale. That is Flexitarian. As you probably see in every single one of my videos, but holy crap. Look at that, it's so pretty! And I know it's really weird to put it on your chin, but I like to even it out, so. It's gone on my chin. And I go back in with my powder brush. And because that's not enough for me, I'm going in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Cult Classic. Looks like that. I'm going to 
go in with bronzer. My favorite little brush lately is this um, Wet n Wild brush. It just looks like that. Um, I don't think it has a name. And then my favorite bronzer is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This one is light bronze. And this one's really, really easy to work with because it is such a neutral color. I'm going in with uh, Real Techniques. I think this is just the contour brush. Pretty sure. And then NYX Taupe Blush. It's really, really nice for people who are, who are more pale. But you kind of have to use your right hand because it is really pigmented. And I think my least favorite part about makeup is choosing a blush. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just because I have too many of them. And I haven't really figured out what works well with my skin tone yet. I think I'm just going to go in with Soft Spoken Blush by NYX. It looks like that. It's a neutral peachy color. And this is a Bare Essentials. Blush brush. Blush brush. After I'm done with the rest of my face, I normally do have to go back in with my no color powder and reset my under eyes. Because my eyes crease up. Really quickly, I'm just gonna go in with um, a color under my lash line. Oh, I think I'm just gonna go in with peanut butter. Just on my outer edges. I'm going in with L'Oreal's Luminous Carbon Black Mascara. Lower lashes, I use a different mascara because I am high maintenance and I'm sorry about it. Not really, I don't care. I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara for my bottom lashes. Um, normally, it's really smart to wait until the mascara on your top lashes dry before doing your lower lashes, but I am a savage. So here we go. Ooh, almost forgot something important. Um, for brows, I used to use the Benefit Gimme Brow, but I realized there is like a $3 dupe for that, and that's Essence Make Me Brow. And I'll lower it. Just gonna brush them up a little bit. And this helps because it does have little fibers in it, and I have very thin and sparse brows, so it helps with that. At this point, I'd probably go back and go over my eyeliner because the powder kind of diminished it a little bit, but I don't really care right now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions on what else you would like to see me do, just leave a comment, send me a message, you know what to do. Subscribe if you like me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!